okay, so now that we've flashed our GoTech, got it all together, put in the mods, now what? <laughs> so unfortunately some sites or some videos stop there um, and fail to give you the rundown on, hey, how do you put files on there and how do you read them? <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do here. Big crash course, okay? At least for the IBM XT that I'm working on right now. So, first things first, obviously the GoTech emulates a floppy. Um, you can store, and it does so by using an image. So an image um, contains files. Um, and that it, it, the image is basically like a floppy disk. And so you put as many files on there as it can hold. You can have up to a thousand images on the GoTech. So in other words, you can have a thousand floppies on the GoTech, okay? So now, how do I create a floppy and how do I put files in? So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So first thing is first. So I have a thumb drive in my computer already, the one that I'm gonna use on the GoTech. So um, I don't care about the files that are on there. First thing is first is I'm gonna create a blank slate. And I'm, that means I'm gonna format um, this thumb drive and I'm gonna format it as a FAT32, which is the default that shows up in Windows. Um, so once I do that, make sure that you're formatting the right drive letter because this is gonna wipe out your drive. You don't wanna accidentally format drive C or something. So I go ahead and start and off it goes. So now what do I have here? I have a blank slate, okay? I basically have drive E that has um, nothing in it. Okay, there's my drive E. So I can do one of two things here. So if I wanted to put DOS version 3.3 as a bootable drive on here, um, the easiest way to do that um, is copy the image file. You can go onto the internet and find the image file for pretty much any version of DOS. That image file is already a complete disk it's already a recognizable format that the GoTech can understand. It's already bootable. So the only thing you need to do is just copy that file onto your thumb drive. And you've just created a brand new bootable disk with DOS version 3.3. The cool part is, you know, I can do the same thing with uh, DOS version 3.1, DOS version, you know, um, 6.1, DOS ver I mean, any DOS. So I can have a whole bunch of different DOS versions that are bootable on here. And then all I would have to do, make sure that the GoTech is your bootable drive, you know, on the XT, that means that I would be replacing the ribbon going to my floppy, my drive A floppy, and putting that on the GoTech. Um, and select the right image on the GoTech and then turn your computer on and that's what it'll boot up. So if you think about it, so cool. If today you wanted to play with DOS 6.1, you just select the GoTech on that DOS 6.1 image and start your computer and there you go, it'll boot up DOS 6.1. Tomorrow you want 3.3, select 3.3, boot up, and there you go, DOS 3.3. So that's the plus side about putting it in your computer and making it the primary drive is you can, you know, basically go into any environment on startup. In our, in our case, for our project, I'm making this an external drive. So that's what I'm giving up though, as an external drive, you know, I'm just using it to just push files in and out, but I'm not, I can't boot up with it. So just keep that in mind because this project is, you know, the way I'm going with it may not be what you want but you can still get some nuggets out of here i hope with what you want to do so that's for the dos images um what about making a blank disk or what about putting you know files my own floppy with my own floppies uh, <laughs> my own files so for that i use this hxc floppy emulator software okay um, there's a windows version in here but obviously you saw that there's also a Mac version. Um, so for the Windows version, that's what I'm gonna show you. So here's what I can do. Notice it created an IMG when all I did is just copy that IMG file. Perfectly. 
if I didn't do that, if for some weird reason I wanted an HFE image file, you know, which is typically w w what I save on there, um, I can drag this right straight to this front window here, and you can see all of a sudden on the bottom, it, there's a disk image, you know, that got pushed in. What I can do at this point is I can export what I just dragged in here and export it as an image. And this one I'll save as an HFE image and that's the default and that's what the GoTech can read well, for the XT. Okay, so I save that and now you'll see there's two images here. There's the original one that I just pushed in and there's an HFE image. Um, notice the file size difference. <laughs> You know, the HFE image has overhead, a lot of it. It's a two meg file where the disk image that I pushed in directly from, you know, the, the DOS folder um, is exactly a 720K disk. And that's what, you know, that, that's what the XT expects. Um, so what happens is the HFE goes through translation in order to, you know, have the GoTech, you know, feed that information to the computer. So that's two ways. So what about creating a blank floppy so you can push files in and out of? Okay, so for that, I go here to Disk Browser and I create a disk. Notice these files that are here is from the image I just pushed in, but they'll go away as soon as I create a disk. Notice there's a whole lot of different formats for the computer that you're going to be using this on. I'm using it on IBM XT. It's DOS version 3.3. It can only read 700. It'll, you can put in a 1.4 meg drive on it, but it'll only read 720K. So that's what I'm going to choose, 720K. I create a disk. Now you have a blank slate. It means nothing until you save it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this, and I'm going to save it, and I'm just going to name it blank image. And that's what you're going to see on the GoTech when you select it you're going to see a blank floppy with nothing on it, but then it has the ability to load 720. It's a 720K blank, plop, blank floppy. Notice here when I created it, the disk size is 713 because there is overhead to floppies. So, you know, keep that in mind. So now, what if I want to create a disk with files on it that I want to push over? Okay, not a problem. Um, so let me create another disk and let me push some files over. Um, let's go over here and, I don't know, let's push these three files in there. So all I do is highlight the files that I want um, to push over and I drag them here into the emulator, soft, into the, the, the floppy emulator. Um, software and then these are now files again this means nothing until you export an image so I'm going to export this and I'm going to call this uh, junk image okay so now you see on the thumb drive there's the blank image you created there's the image of DOS 3.3 that we dragged there's the um, DOS 3.3 that we created an HFE image of um, here's our junk image so that junk image consists of these three files. So when you boot up or when you select this drive on the GoTech, this is what's going to, and you do a directory on it, this is what's going to show up, these three files. Now, you can also, I'm just going to create a disk just to blank this, but if you have an image already and you say, oh shoot, you know what, I want to delete a couple files from there or I want to add other files, not a problem. You take that image on your E drive, you and then you basically drag it in to the file browser. Oops, my bad. You can't drag it into the file browser. You got to load the image <laughs> and select it in the file browser. The reason is because I'm dragging a file in there and it thinks I'm dragging a two meg file. That's not what we want. So we want to load an image um, and here's the junk image and I double click on it and here's the files that are in there and now I can delete um, or add more files whatever this is a blank floppy that's being emulated in front of me for me to manipulate as I need to again remember nothing takes place until you save 
or export the image okay and then you can overwrite the current image or create a new one so what ends up happening is you take that thumb drive after all of this is said and done you plug it into the GoTech the GoTech is plugged into your computer you use the selection buttons or the rotary dial um, like in our mod on the GoTech to select the image that you want to play with so you don't have to restart your computer to go and select a different image, you know. Um, and basically, just use a selector and what will happen is the computer will just think that you just swapped floppies and it'll just read the directory on whatever image you've just selected on the GoTech. The only time you need to restart your computer um, to select something different on the GoTech is only if you want to boot up um, you know, a different version of DOS, let's say, then obviously you're going to need to select that on your GoTech and then restart your computer. But outside of that, just move the selection knob on the GoTech and that, and do a directory, and that's those are the files that you're going to see in the copy that you have to work with. So that's a pretty much a crash course. That's how you get files onto the GoTech, and you know, the rest is history. So now that we've got the files on the computer, we've got our GoTech here. Okay, and showing that, you know, it's ready. So plug our USB drive on it. And there are the files, or the images, I should say, that we created. So if you move this around, you'll see there's image number one, image number two, there's the junk image, there's the blank image, okay, and notice that it starts with zero, so GoTech doesn't start with one, it starts with zero. You can store a thousand images on here and it'll go from zero to 999, so just for that, for what it's worth. So anyways, if I was to read this on the computer, I'm going to pull up the, the files that are on that floppy that we just created. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand how to push files in, especially if you haven't done it before. And um, let's go and attack that TXT right now and get it on the network. Throw some files, the necessary files on there and move on.